Hi, I'm Martin and this is my instrument, the piano accordion. Uh, usually you'll find me playing traditional music with the band Alton, but uh, the accordion is such a versatile instrument, it's found in lots of different cultures and in lots of different styles of music. Uh, so I've been very lucky to record and play with the National Symphony Orchestra, the RT Concert Orchestra, um, on the jazz area of things. Uh, then with the Cafe Orchestra, uh, the wonderful Congolese guitar player Noel Sumbu, uh, Hugh Buckley, and uh, then on a completely different area of things uh, with uh, Patti Smith, uh, with uh, Ricky Skaggs, Mary Chapin Carpenter, and uh, even the hip hop duo uh, Michael Moore and Ryan Lewis. Uh, so as last few years then, I've been really thrilled uh, and excited to work with the Learning and Participation Programme at the National Concert Hall, and that's brought me all over the country. Uh, so today I'm going to show you the piano accordion and what it sounds like. So just uh, for a quick blast of notes, first of all. So how does the accordion work? Well, on my right hand side, you'll see a keyboard and that's where I play the tunes. And if you look closely at an accordion, you'll see these buttons here. And what they do is they give you a completely different sound. So the lowest one gives you this lovely bassy deep sound. Um, the next one that I would often use for chords. And then the one that I use most often is for melodies. And that's nice and light and glassy. Um, on the left hand side then you'll see all of these buttons. Uh, the first two rows of them are single notes. So they're the bass notes. Uh, and then as you work your way out you get major chords minor chords, seven chords, and diminished chords. And all the while, you'll see this thing going out and in here, and that is the bellows, and you'll hear the air sound. That is funneling air through the instrument and causing the reeds inside to vibrate. So if you could see inside of this wooden case, um, what you would find is three big harmonicas, and I'm gonna show these to you now. So, this is a root block and uh, each one of these are individual notes. So when you hear a note on the accordion, you're really hearing one of these vibrate. And how it vibrates is that the air from the bellows is going through there and causing it to vibrate. So I've taken one out for you, which you can see here, if I can get close enough to the camera. And so this little bit of metal um, is vibrating um, and that's what you're actually hearing as a note. And so then you've got this one on the other side as well. And you'll also see this bit of leather. And that is making sure that when one of these is vibrating, the other one doesn't vibrate. And so it's called a free reed. Um, so it's a free reed instrument, like the concertina and button accordion. So that is how the piano accordion works. So why did I choose the piano accordion? Well, back in the 1990s, uh, when I was a kid, uh, every town in Donegal had a marching band and the easiest way to get an instrument was really to join one of them. And if you did, the most likely instrument in my part of Donegal that you would have got is an accordion. Uh, so why do I like it? There's another, uh, another strange one. Um, I like it because you can do almost anything on it. And there's so many different styles of music you can play and so many gorgeous different sounds uh, you can get from it. And I was very lucky last year uh, to go and visit uh, this little town called Castel Fidardo in the Ancona region of Italy. And that is where most of the world's accordions are made. And I was particularly lucky on my last day to meet the Bompezzo family. You can see their name here. And I've been working on a design for an accordion uh, that has everything that I want in it uh, for years and uh, finally met them and uh, they showed me their gorgeous workshop and uh, they designed it and this has just arrived so i've got all of these wonderful signs that i can get now and looking forward to using them a lot more when we get out of lockdown 
So what's my favorite piece of music to play? Well, there are so many wonderful tunes, but I'm going to play one now that I associate with Tommy Peoples, and this is called Doubt's Favourite. Two other pieces of music for you to listen to well you've just heard me playing a bit of traditional music there so uh the first one i'm going to recommend is on spotify and it's an axos album called music for great films of the silent era and i recorded uh, on that with the national symphony orchestra a good few years ago but it was such a fun experience and uh, the piece to look out for is one called the raincoats of dijon so you'll hear the accordion playing a very french melody <laughs> And, uh, of course, the National Symphony Orchestra work and their magic behind it all. Uh, then for something completely different again, um, I recorded an album with Cormac Branagh and Dara Bracken, uh, two great friends and musicians, a few years ago. And that's called The Whistleblower. Um, and on it, uh, the music is constantly evoking sounds of the train. And the accordion has a lot of fun with all of that, using uh, different techniques like bellow shakes. So here's one. <laughs> And uh, then on another track you hear So lots of really cool unusual signs to look out for there. So hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for other videos in this series and I hope to see you at a concert at the National Concert Hall as soon as it reopens again. If there's anyone out there who plays the accordion, then why not make a video of you playing your favourite piece? You can share them online with us and don't forget to tag the National Concert Hall. Check out their social media handles at the end of this video. Thanks.